Good morning, welcome to Something Saturday. So today I thought we would take a look at this rock and roll paper because it is really cool and I think it'll make some really amazing um, cards and things and I'm not sure whether I have already used it in a video so apologies if I have but if I haven't that is the card that we're going to be making um, in the February classes and just that back away and after I was fiddling around with the um the a la mode dies I think that's what they're called Oop, let's just chuck my e back in the right place a la mode a la mode are they called yes alphabet a la mode dies I had this really cool idea that um that I wanted to try out so um you get to try it out with me today go us um I thought I'll quickly show you this paper so there's a suite obviously um it's got the uh, rockstar stamp set and the dies and the papers and the um uh what are they calling them adhesive backed lightnings lightning and stars so i have got those bits and not this bit um for some reason they didn't really appeal to me i'm sure they will to other people but um not to me so these are the papers I love this one with all the guitars on it. I think that is really cool. And the other sides are really fabulous for just anything, really. I like this one because it reminds me of, you know, when you see those sound um, things on a computer. It just reminds me of that. And then that's just a bit of a scratchy sort of thing. I quite like the look of this. It reminds me of marble, like a black marble. And then you've got that one. And then this one is like that paint scraping stuff whatever you call it and then just a checkered then that one and that one this one's really cool because this is like this is really old-fashioned it's um, like the 80s sort of thing for me you got the old stereo and the boom box and yeah it's so cool I like that anyway I had this thought and we are gonna have a go at it so let's just hope it works, because otherwise this video won't go very far. Uh, right, so let's bring this piece in. And I want to cut out happy out of this. I don't have two peas, so we're going with hap and then pee. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't encourage that you that you need one. <laughs> Okay, so I need a scrap bit of paper, which, excuse the fact that this is a very scrappy bit of paper. And we are going to be using my new stamping brayer, which I haven't really used much before. So this is going to be a bit of an experiment just in itself. Um, it is red. <laughs> and it's, it's kind of cool because you can take it out of here and give, go and give that part a wash, which is nice. It also has, as somebody pointed out to me, I think it was Lindy pointed it out to me, it actually has a couple of stands, which is really good because so often you put your brayer down and then it's like gives you a line somewhere else, which is kind of annoying. So I'm guessing that the stands, when you're using it, go upwards so they're not trying to drag along the base. Um, and what colour? I thought I would use it over this piece of cardstock. So what colour am I going to use? That I hadn't thought about. That would have been a good thought to begin with, wouldn't it? Let's just have a quick look. Uh, what, 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 what to use? How about, no, maybe, ah, uh, I don't know whether that's going to be too dark, blueberry bushel, I think kind of have that feeling that it's going to be too dark so let's go with something a bit lighter oh lost lagoon perfect that's a great color all right not too light not too dark just right so hopefully oh let's turn it back that way hopefully it will be just right so let's ink it up so when you ink up a brayer this is from my past life as it were being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, we have had brayers before. You actually just keep rolling round and round until you get an even coverage. This is not particularly even coverage. I'm not sure why not. Okay, well, we'll see how we go with it. 
and then you're supposed to roll lift roll lift roll lift that is how officially you're supposed to use a brayer so i might go back in the other direction and i'm still getting a line in the middle so let's just see whether i can somehow get rid of the line <laughs> feel like i'm just adding more lines to it i know this one is actually really good um yeah it's not too bad um that would help if i was using it the right way up um this one is really good for put it using on your um embossing folders so yeah no, i like that color that's a pretty cool color okay advantage with a um, brayer is that it does cover the area a lot quicker than um trying to use one of the brushes because if you're using one of the brushes you're actually forever there and you end up with a bit of a um, sore arm and wrist by the end of the time that you've covered a large quantity of cardstock so yep i'm quite happy with the color of that actually that's good and then i can turn that over and i can put it over there and i know that it's not touching the surface anywhere so bonus all righty let us grab Grab this in. Oh, sorry, you're going to get absolutely blinded by the plates here. Let's put that on top. And we will say hap. So I think I'm going to place it up because I want birthday to come underneath it. So we will hap on that. Let's go. And I need to keep the little extra pieces. So I'm not going to need that and that and that. And then we need to say P. I'm going to pop it back onto this side because I can get to it easier this way. But I could go either way with it. So we will pee on there. Okay. So we have hap and we have pee. <laughs> bit of toilet humour there. <laughs> oh, you've got to be a bit crazy, haven't you? Uh, all right, let's put that away. Let's persuade my chair not to run downhill with me. Put that over there. There we go. Right. Uh, I have just realised that I ran out of base cards. So this gives us a good opportunity for me to show you how I cut my base cards, just in case you don't know and you're fairly new to this channel or, um, or you've forgotten something along those lines. Let's just move everything off to one side. And let's... Normal, normal vanilla, I don't really want vanilla. I want white. Here we go. This is how I store my thick white cardstock in one of these folders. So when I open a packet of it, it the rest of it just goes into this um, folder like this. And then I know that um, that has thick white cardstock in it. So I find it best if I know that I'm going to, oh dear want two and there goes the dog if i want two cards out of one piece of a4 cardstock then i measure it to ten and a half centimeters and i want to use my scorer first so it goes score down the middle of it because that way you're only having to score and cut so you do one score line one cut line and one cut line and that gives you your two cards rather than then having to go, oh, I've cut it. Now I need to score two pieces of cardstock. So there you go. I now have two cards made up and that's nice and easy. 
Um, I do usually grab my bone scorer when I'm doing it myself and just give it a bit of a down like that so that I know those two are now nice and flat. So, and they actually look pretty even. That's really good. Yeah. Excellent. Good. All right. So let me persuade my chair not to roll downhill. And let's see whether I can just persuade all these pieces out. <laughs> Very technical way of getting these bits out. If you don't really fancy just throwing them at your glass mat, which is probably not a good idea, what you can do is you can just get your little um, thing out and just hold on to it and it will lift it off the um, thing out. Take your pick tool. That is the word I'm after. Did you know with your take, take your pick tool, it has the sticky end down one end and it also has the... Um, um, the pointy end but if you take that out you have a lifter end as well which is very handy I have used that a lot okay so this is my plan oh cunning plan <laughs> uh, let's put happy away shall we go on over there happy see I could I don't know whether they're all No, I don't really fancy doing that. Um, however, the ends are slightly longer than I need. So what I'm going to do is just go in and take a half a centimetre and score down the half a centimetre on that side and a half a centimetre on this side and score down that side so that I can just do this. Give it a bit of something different at the ends there. Kind of feel like I need a colour behind it. I wonder what colour would go well with behind that. Ooh. Pool party might look kind of good behind it. Let's see if I can find a piece of pool party. Isn't it interesting how you end up? It looks completely different when you put it be with this colour behind it to when you put it with that colour behind it. I wonder how different it looks with this one. No, you see, I don't think it looks quite as different, dramatically different as it does with that. I quite, quite like that. So that is sea foam, soft sea foam. That's the word I'm after. It was freezing cold inside and I put my jumper on and, um, and that's actually not that cold in here. <laughs> Uh, right, we need to go this away, I think. And do I have enough space to have a bit of a gap around the outside? I think I do. Okay, good. Just going to cut this down. I think I'm going to cut it to 14 and a half because I know my card um, is 14.8 long, but I want a little bit of a tiny gap just around the edge of this and that should give me I hope it didn't <laughs> of course it didn't bother I wonder if I can just you know what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut off this and just refold again so let's see let's just trim off Oh, great. It's going to stick on there. So if you ever find it does that, where you go to cut it, and because your score line is there, um, it actually starts to crease up instead of cutting, what you do is you move your cutter to the middle of it and you score down and out, and then you move your cutter back up and you score up and down. So I could do that a little bit, but I think I'm okay. And then I'm just going to rescore my half a centimetre just on the end there. That looks all right. Okay, so hopefully now... Oh, look at that, it works. <laughs> Who would have known? Um, and then I actually really want to... Oh, should have done that. So I want about that much on either side. So let me just move that 
to there and see whether I can. So what I do when I'm trying to measure how much I want on either side, potentially you could actually literally measure it, but I'm not that good at that sort of thing. So I don't, don't always do that. Um, well, I can do it, but you know, and then I sort of like, I eyeball it to be perfectly honest. I just look at it and go, yeah, that's, that looks about right. So hopefully that does look about right. And yeah, that looks about right. <laughs> Okay, let's get rid of the rest of the soft sea foam. Pop that over here. And you know what? We might even go with the card the right way up. Ooh, exciting stuff. Uh, okay, so we have that. Yep, yep. I'm thinking this is going to work. This is good. Always a bonus when things work out. Don't have to redo the video after all. Okay, let's just add a little bit potentially of glue down there glue that flap down and that one glue that flap down and then we turn it over and we add a bit of glue around here oh Oh, I actually can't see where it's um, where I'm supposed to be putting the glue. <laughs> it's kind of melted, melding in with the background a bit. And of course, the glue is the same colour as the white lines that are on the back here. So, you know, we're doing well. Uh -huh. It's all right. At least it's on the silicone mat and it doesn't matter. So then we're going to just add that. Oop, down a bit onto there advantage with the tombow is that you can move it marginally once it's on there i don't need to so that's really good and i am going to want to add birthday onto here um i actually hadn't considered the fact that i wanted to add birthday onto it that's really handy isn't it have a quick look see what we've got here hmm happy <laughs> I think I want a different birthday on there so um, I'm not gonna add the birthday just yet but I am gonna add the two P's and the rest of the A so let's just pop Come on. I know there's enough in there. Honestly. Oh. There's the happy. And let's see. I think, yep, that one is definitely this one. Pop the inside of that pea. One down. Oh, this one looks... Oh, no, thank goodness for that. I did manage to pick the right one. I thought for a moment there I had the wrong one on there. But no, that is really good news. And there we go. We are happy. Did you... Uh, oh, I don't know whether... Lindy might know this one. I am H-A-P-P-Y. I am H-A-P-P-Y. I know I am. I'm sure I am. I am H-A-P-P-Y. It was a really old English... Um, well, probably not really old, but, you know, I feel like I'm getting older. <laughs> um, sort of sitcom or something. And, uh, and yeah, I just remember that particular song from it. Okay, so that is what I wanted to show you today. Using the brayer over top of your um, designer series paper, it does change the colour of it, which is kind of cool. And potentially you could even colour these in on top as well, which, oh, I'm really tempted to do that now. However, I will finish that off off video and I will go and pop a few things onto my blog for you to check out using this paper and using um, this paper. <laughs> <laughs> or potentially using the stamp set with the paper too. Ooh, and the dies. 
Okay, so I better head off because my phone apparently is telling me it's a low battery. So hopefully it has done this. And um, come and join me next week. And thanks for joining me. Okay, bye. Oh.